Hey car guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Today's video, we're gonna be putting all the front accessories on. Now you see that? That's not done yet, that's the next video. But we're gonna start working on getting the fuel pump on, the alternator, AC bracket, the power steering pump's gonna mount up here somewhere. And we're gonna work on that stuff. And we're also gonna put the motor brackets back on here, if you could see it. Gonna put the motor brackets back on so we can get ready to go back in. We are getting close, guys. Now, as far as the intake manifold goes and the throttle body, I painted the fuel rail, so I'm just waiting for that to cure up, and then I'll put start putting the squirty boys in and hooking all that up. I will show you that in one second. Here's our nice, freshly aluminum painted fuel rail that is curing in my bedroom because I shut the door and I got the heat on so it's hanging from this improvised abortion tool so yeah that's coming in the next video yeah so I got a braided steel fuel line now I never heard of this problem on the 04 GTOs but apparently this thing the stock one rubs and creates fuel leaks goes on the exhaust manifold and fire and death now, I don't know if that to be the case for the 04 GTO, but I think the 0506 ones have that issue. So let's get back out in the garage and get this thing back together. All right, guys, we're going to start with the AC pump bracket because I could not get that off to save my life. So I'm going to need a breaker bar. So I'm going to mount it up I'm going to get that off. And it goes on just like this. There's like a little lip right there. And this thing goes over the top like so. And then your holes should line up. The AC goes into that one and this one. And we're going to use that hole and that hole. So let me get this thing mounted up. I'm going to use thread locker. These, I believe, get, yeah, they get torqued down to 37 foot pounds. And we're going to lock this guy in place and get going. All right, guys, got my four bolts started. Now, just remember, there are six of these little short bolts. You're using all short bolts, putting that on, and you got two longer ones for the top of the AC pump when you put that in. So, if you took this part right, you should have four bolts left over, two long, two shorts. So, put that back in the baggie. These are 15 millimeters. They get torqued down to 37 foot-pounds, so let's crank that down, get this in place. All right, 37 foot-pounds. All right, guys, I already took this off earlier, but this is the tensioner pulley for the air conditioning. Now, if you can see the little tab right there, that's going to go inside that hole, so when you mount it back up to do it again, you stick it in the hole, bolt it up, you're good to go. The one that it comes with, is a 13 millimeter socket so when we go to put that on i'll tell you the torque specs i'm gonna i'm gonna loctite it crank it down and go from there but first i gotta get this whore off now that takes a torx t50 i hit it with an impact gun wanted nothing to do with it so i'm gonna stick this in try a breaker bar if that doesn't work i'm gonna put a little heat to it hope that works and we'll continue on we'll just swap it right out Alright, get that in. Hopefully this works. Keep a little pressure on it. There it goes. Okay, we got the bolt off. We're going to save that because we're going to reuse that. And then just remember you got two little plates here. Two little plates. So I'm going to put them back in the same orientation. I'm going to put them on the ground. This thing's garbage. Alright, that went crazy. So let's put this back together. So we got our brand new pulley. Nice new bearings in there, spins freely. I'm not sure which way it's supposed to go. They seem like the same on both sides, so it doesn't look like there's a difference, but usually when there's lettering, like there's some lettering up here, that usually sticks out front. That's the way I'm gonna go with this, so. Plop you there, plop you there. Okay, just got that snugged up and started. This one goes to 37 foot-pounds also. Just put some Loctite on it, put the little caps back on. Now we're gonna set her home. All right, cool, 37 foot-pounds, good to go on that. Now, got our brand new air conditioning tensioner pulley. Now, as you can tell, there's a slight difference on the back of this one and the back of the new one. So this one's got a little round 
tit, where this one has a funky looking tit, eh, titties. And obviously we're not using this old one. Yeet. And this one comes with a new bolt. I gotta figure out the size of it real quick, but no big deal. Okay, the one that comes with this kit is a 12 millimeter. The old one that came off is a 13 millimeter, so. This one also goes to 37 foot pounds. I put the Loctite on, should be good to go. There, I got my little snap on one, so hopefully this one's a little better. All right guys, we're gonna go on to installing the alternator bracket. So there's three spots on the front of the engine, one, two, and three, and the bracket orientates just like that. Now there's another bracket that goes on the side of the engine. This little guy, we're gonna deal with that later. There are four different size bolts in this thing. So you have your two big ones that ultimately go between here where the alternator is gonna sit. They have a longer but shorter one, which is gonna go through that hole right there. You got two small ones. These are gonna go to the block to that back bracket. And the shorty, which goes through that back bracket into the alternator. So let's get this bracket set up on here. We'll get it ready to go. I'm gonna Loctite it and get these snug down and then I'm gonna to torque it down. Now all the bolts that go to the front side of the alternator, those are 15 millimeters. The one that goes to the back bracket is also 15 millimeters. And the two that mount the bracket to the side of the engine block, those are 13 millimeters. So let me go grab the alternator, I'll line it up, get it in, start getting these bolts in, get them Loctited, and then we'll start the torquing sequence. All right guys, got a refurbished alternator. I sent it out to a shop. They actually tested it and said it was bad. So good thing I didn't clean it up and throw it back in. So if you're gonna do this, get this shit tested. As you can see, there's holes here and here. Those are gonna jive here and up here. So you're just gonna slide this in. It may fight you a little bit. I still have it loose, but we're just gonna rock it in and try and get this started. Get in there, motherfucker. All right, I got my Loctite on. I'm gonna start this bottom one. There we go. Okay, got these bolts all started. They're not torqued down yet. I'm gonna work on putting these two alternator brackets in because I don't want to torque this down and it's just slightly out of whack. So you have one bolt that goes here. That's that short guy, which is this one. And then these two shorties go up into here. All right, guys, uh, the front alternator bolts, those get torqued down to 37 foot, -pound bolt, uh, foot pounds as well as this back one. Now the ones that mount to the bracket on the block, I could not find a torque spec on them, but they are smaller than this. So I'm probably gonna go to like 25, maybe 27 and see what that does. I'm gonna do these right now and then I'm gonna work on the ones on the block. Yeah, I'm doing these at about 27 foot-pounds. Nice to have the right socket. Okay, so the alternator is all hooked up and ready to go. So when we put this together, just drop it in, do what else we got to do, and go to town. All right, guys, next we're going on to the motor mount brackets. It's only three bolts. Now, on this side in particular, it's going to be hard to get a torque wrench inside of here. So I'm gonna snug that accordingly. The other ones, I'm gonna put the 37 foot pounds and I'm also gonna lock tight them. All right, I'm gonna start these guys. 37 foot pounds. That one's good. Let me get a smaller socket, maybe it'll fit in there. All right, cool, motor mount's on. I'm gonna go do the other side, knock that out, and then we'll go on to probably the power steering pump. All right, guys, I was gonna put the power steering pump on, but it's a little leaky, so I'm gonna move on to something else. I'm gonna put that on at the end, where it's on top of the engine, it's easy to get to. So I'm gonna put the harmonic balancer on. Now, just to be clear, I have my way of doing it. You could do it your way. So what I do is put a little oil on the crankshaft, and a little oil on the shiny part of the balancer. And I try and get it on as far as I can, try and get like, I don't know, seven, eight turns with the bolt. Use the old bolt. 
And I try to get like seven or eight turns on the old bolt. And then I hit it with an impact gun and try and drive it in. Now that is not the final torque. I'm gonna do that when it's in the engine and I have brakes and I put it in gear and I could torque it down the way I want to. If you have your way of doing it or the internet tells you a different way of doing it, that's fine. I'm just telling you, this is my way of doing it. Leave it at that. So I got this thing started up. I put some oil in here and I put some oil around the oil seal just so that it's not dry rubber on metal. When it starts spinning, you get it, it's gonna wear out. So I got a little oil there. I'm gonna try and get this bolt started about seven, eight turns and I'm gonna use an impact gun. I've done it before, no issues. It's the old bolt. So we're gonna go from there. I gotta tap this in a little further. I'm probably about five spins in on the, the bolt. I want a little more because I don't, because if you only have like two threads on there and you try ripping it, you might pull the threads. And you don't want to change the crankshaft once you're this far, because that would suck. Use a big socket, nice hammer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right at seven. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna use the impact gun. Try and shoot it in the rest of the way, see what it does. If it doesn't want to go in anymore, it doesn't go in anymore. I'll wait until the engine's in, but I just want to get this thing in so I'm not leaning over a water pump and all that shit, so. All right, she bottomed it out. Looks like all these pulleys line up, which is nice for the air conditioning. And it looks like the alternator and this will match up nicely. So we're good there. I'm gonna leave this bolt in just to keep it in. But now the engine is basically entirely sealed up. So when I put it in the car, it could sit out there for a few days and nothing's gonna get in it. Now remember this is the old bolt, not the new one. The new one you do, that's final installation. So we're in, doesn't look crooked, it can't be crooked. And that's another important thing. When you put it on the crankshaft, make sure it's straight. Cause if you do not have it straight, you're gonna gouge it. It's gonna be off balance. It's gonna be weird. So we got two more things left to do. We got the water pump to do and, and this idler pulley. Now, when I took it apart, this pulley got in the way of doing the water pump. So do this last. So we'll move on to the water pump and we'll keep chugging along. All right guys, time to install the water pump. We're gonna put this brand new water pump on, got it from GM and I think it was like 250 bucks, but I do not want to fuck around with a Japanese or Chinese, Japanese I would trust, Chinese water pump, not going to do it. So this is AC Delco, original parts. All right, just shove two bolts through each gasket just to hold it in place. I'm going to snug it up on there now, also very important, make sure your surfaces are very clean because if not, could have leaks. Okay, I got my four bolts started just to hold it in. Now I'm going to lock tight the two bottom ones. Get them snugged up and I'll pull these out and lock tight them as well. And then we'll start torquing them. All right guys, got lock tight on all my bolts, they're all in. Now there's a torque sequence to this. I don't know why, but I'm gonna go for it. So first pass is 11 foot pounds and then you're gonna end up on 22 foot pounds on your final pass. So, I mean, this thing should probably barely turn, but we'll see. So that's 11. All right, 22 foot pounds. One, two, three. All right, guys, I was going to put this pulley on, but I ordered it. This one came grooved and this one came smooth. This is the one that came off. So as you can tell in the back, it's hollow and the front's kind of indented. And this one's just kind of the same all around. So got to replace this. Go to AutoZone or something, get a new one of these. All right, guys, went to AutoZone, got my idler pulley and we're just going to stick this on. So this back plate should wiggle on here like so i think there it goes okay so that's pushed on you're gonna push it on that little thing 
And then I Loctited this. We're gonna shove this in here. Here we got our bolt started. It's 15 millimeter. This goes down to 37 foot pounds. It spins freely. So let's get twerking. Good to go. All right, guys, we got pretty much the whole front end of the engine together. Just uh, like I said, power steering pump. That's gonna go on later because we got some leaks and I don't wanna get anything douched on here. And this is not fully torqued yet. It's on, not fully torqued. Gotta do that at the end and hopefully I don't forget about it because that would suck. Got all our holes taped up just so nothing gets inside. So just the next few videos, uh, I'm actually about to go out in the driveway, put on the master cylinder and swap that all out and put the stainless lines on. I was gonna install the line lock with that, but I figured the car's not running yet. And if I show you how to wire it up and do all that stuff, and then a couple weeks later, whenever that video comes out, I wired it wrong. So I don't wanna chance that. So. I'm going to do the master cylinder, make sure that works. The braided lines are going to go on. And then after that, I'm going to put the line lock in. This way I could test it, make sure it works, make sure I wired it right, all that fun stuff. So that's going to come a little later. I, figured, I thought I was going to do it together, but then I was like, what if I do it wrong? I don't want to mislead you. So that's going to come a little later down the road. Uh, when the car's running, then I'm going to put the oil cooler in. So yeah, lots of stuff coming. Still need to do the fuel injectors on this. The paint should be dry. Probably tackle that a little later. And start working on that clutch system. Because once this engine goes in, then I could go balls out on the clutch system because it'll be in place, everything will be on, and it's just a lot easier than doing it on two separate components that are not even close to going in. So I'll show you how to measure that thing up. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, I think 59 subscribers now. That's awesome. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting. If you have questions, let me know if I'm doing something wrong or you have a different way of putting the balancer on. Maybe there's a certain tool, but a lot of people don't have all the tools in the world, so they're just trying to do what they can with what they have. My method, it's worked before. I ran with it. Trust but verify. Couldn't hurt. You know, I'm not a know-it-all or claim to know it all. So thanks for watching. And I'll get some more videos made up today and pump them out in the future. Be good guys, out.